Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas. Mike Aiken here. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, and you know it's been the season of try to sell you stuff, try to do that, you're getting hit from everybody. I don't really want to do that anymore this holiday season. What I want to do is give you an eggnog recipe, because it's a whole lot of fun, and it's really good. I got this particular recipe sailing up in Nova Scotia from Nova Scotia Sioux. So come on over here to the table, and let's make some eggnog. Basically, you need some eggs and some milk, and you need... You need bourbon, you need rum, you need some spices. You'll get all that in a little bit. We're going to go to it now. All right. We need to separate six eggs. Now, I know you're used to seeing me play guitar, not separating eggs, but, man, you don't know the things I can do. Simple little procedure here. Oh, that one got away. Now I'm going for it. Don't get discouraged separating your eggs because you can catch them. Now I know this isn't all fancy like those uh, digital channel cooking shows. So hang on one minute. I'm washing my hands. Let me tell you where you're at. You're here at the old Breezeway Cafe at Rebel Marina. If you don't know the way here, then you'll never find it because we don't tell people that don't already know. Now let me explain something here. See this little beater? See this little beater? Now we live on a boat, Amy and I. We don't have too much power. We use a little bit of wind generator, solar, so so I don't have one of those mixers. You probably do, so plug it in, put those beaters in. I got this beater here. You know, this was my grandma Vera's beater. And when she died some years ago, bless her heart, this is what I wanted, you know, because I knew she had her hands on these things for years, and I wanted to take a piece of beer with me. So here we go. I have a cup of sugar in there. the sink and a stainless bowl. Be right back. We're just getting into the mood with the egg now. So you put the whites into a chill bowl. Beat those up. You chill the bowl, it beats up a whole lot faster. By this time, I hope you're pointing at this uh, little video smiling and laughing. Just about. Then you put in a little more sugar. Beat some more. That's looking pretty good. I gotta get something to mix this with. You can come over here and see we got all sorts of stuff here. Old rubber hands. It's just if you can find it. We'll use that a little later. This thing will work. This will work. Yeah. Have a Christmas treat there, buddy. Oh yeah, there you go. Combine all this stuff. Now this isn't that uh, this isn't that convenience store eggnog, you know. It's got ingredients in it that you'll never be able to pronounce. This has just got good stuff in it. And you put in one pint of whole milk. In this case, I'm using some uh, half and half instead of cream. We're sort of reversing this up. And you put in another one of milk. Boy, it's gonna be good. Bind that a little bit. You put in a little bit. You can go right there if you don't want the alcohol. But you put in a little bit. They call it for whiskey. I particularly like bourbon myself. So you put in some. That's not quite enough. Put in a little more. Put in a little bit of bourbon in there. And then you put in some good black rum. And then a little more. How many will this serve? One really thirsty person, or probably if you're making this for a party, I don't know, six to ten if you just want to take. You know, I'll tell you a little secret. You folks have got the rest of the week, and you're going to be spending your time in the office. If you put this into one of those travel mugs like that says coffee on it, you're good for the day. And if you got a Scrooge-type boss, they'll never know, and you'll just have a fine old time. So, mm-mm. So that's what it sort of comes out like. So really, I hope everybody's having a good Christmas season. I know we are. Then you top that with a little bit of uh, nutmeg. So, see what that is? 
hand one to the cameraman. Really. Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope it's a great, great time. Hope everybody is a whole lot of fun. If you'd like to find a recipe of this for yourself, go to my website, MikeAkinMusic.com, then go to the community page. It's going to be up there. Hope you enjoy it. Happy holidays, everybody.